my dear viewers hope you are all well subject of discussion of the day is what is power factor how it can be improved and contribution of capacitor bank towards correction of power factor before starting the video an appeal to you my dear viewers please please subscribe the channel if yet to be done please watch what is capacitor bank a capacitor bank is an assembly of several but definite numbers of special type of capacitor units used either in series or in parallel or in series parallel combination installed at receiving end substation the capacitor bank is arranged with suitable switching device to use the bank as per necessity why capacitor bank is needed the function of sun capacitors applied in the form of a bank comprising a group of units in series parallel combination is to supply capacitive volt ampere at the point of connection of loads description in ac system most of the loads are inductive they draw lagging kvr the sun capacitors draw leading kvr during running at the same bus the lagging kvr of inductive loads such as motors welding machine arc furnace etc is compensated by the leading kvr of sun capacitor does the sun capacitors improve the power factor and thereby reduce the total used kva capacity increase kilowatt capacity and diminish current flowing through the line thus reduces copper losses and voltage drop in the transmission line sand capacitor as a rule connected near the load end and also at the receiving substation when used at substation capacitor bank should be switched off at light load so voltage should not be exceeded beyond specific limit and to avoid overcompensation
what is power factor in short it may be defined as the ratio of active power kilowatt to apparent power kva then power factor pf cos phi is equal to kilowatt by kilo volt ampere phi is the power factor angle the angle between the voltage vector v and current vector i is phi as the angle decreases power factor increases as example cos 0 degree is equal to 1 types of electrical loads in ac electrical system loads are drawn in one of the three categories resistive incandescent lamp different type of heater inductive load such as motor ac refrigerator welding machine furnace etc capacitive capacitor and capacitive circuit among the above three general examples of inductive loads are lighting transformers ac induction motors furnace welding machine etc which draw power at lagging power factor we have to go through vector representation of different type of loads to define what is power factor and how it can be improved or corrected let us consider an inductive load which draws the current il from supply mains lagging behind the voltage v at an angle phi the power factor angle the vector diagram is shown here the current il can be resolved into two components one along the voltage vector other perpendicular to it the component along voltage vector v is il cos phi is called in phase or active component of current and another component il sin phi perpendicular to voltage vector v is called out of phase or reactive component of current if all components are multiplied by voltage v and the product of voltage v and in phase component of current that is il cos phi will represent the real power of the circuit in watts or kilowatt whereas the product of voltage v and the quadrature component of current that is il sin phi will represent reactive power in watts or kvar and product of voltage and current that is vil will represent the apparent power in volt amperes or kva thus we get a power triangle like this from power triangle cos phi is equal to kw by kva now consider and capacitive load which draws current ic from supply mains leading the supply voltage v by an angle phi dash the current ic can be resolved into two components one along the voltage vector other perpendicular to it the component along voltage vector v is ic cos phi dash is called in phase or active component of current and another component ic sin phi dash perpendicular to voltage vector v is called out of phase or reactive bar component of current capacitor takes 
leading carrier which is compensated to the reactive component of inductive load when connected in parallel with the said inductive load in the vector diagram vector il represent the current of inductive load means industrial load lagging behind voltage v by a large angle file power factor low enough and vector ic represents current drawn by the capacitor leading the voltage v by an angle phi c the resultant current i is the vector sum of il and ic and we see that angle of lag phi is much smaller than phi l that means overall power factor has improved and tends to 1 by using the capacitor due to compensation of leading cave here by capacitor to lagging cave here of inductive load here induction motors overall power factor will be improved and as a result additional load may be drawn from a transformer which is being explained here please watch suppose 200 kVA transformer feeding loads of 150 kVA at VF 0.8 induction motors draw lagging kVA the capacitor bank will compensate leading kVA by 32 kVA as given kilowatt drawn by the motor uh, is equal to uh, 120 kilowatt reactive power drawn by the motors is equal to 90 kvr lagging leading kvr supplied by the capacitor bank is equal to 32 kV air after compensation lagging kV air decreases to 58 kV air from 90 kV air hence final apparent power becomes after compensation is equal to 133.33 kV final or combined power factor becomes cos phi 2 is equal to 0.9 so before synchronizing capacitor bank power factor was 0.8 and transformer could deliver is equal to 160 kv kilowatt but after synchronizing power factor becomes 0.9 and transformer can deliver now 180 kilowatt therefore additional load can be delivered by the transformer 
at 0.9 power factor is equal to 20 kilowatt show dear viewers this was the explanation about power factor and capacitor bank thank you